Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Blitz5, and it's been about 10 days since the Frozen Throne expansion came out for Hearthstone. So I'm going to be going through my opinion of all the cards that released, what legendaries I got, what decks I'm using, all that stuff. So if you're interested in Hearthstone, stick around for this video. So when a Hearthstone expansion comes out, you can usually pre-order packs. I know a lot of people do this. My friends do this. I try not to spend a lot of money in Hearthstone, and actually I haven't spent money on the game in about over a year maybe two years i was spending a lot when i first started to kind of catch up and then i, I stopped uh, so i decided to pre-order this bundle i think it's 50 dollars for 50 packs and normally it would be something like 60 dollars for 50 packs actually let's go into the shop and kind of see what the bundle is so right now for 50 dollars you get 40 packs but for when you pre-order for 49.99 you get 50 packs um, so you get an extra 10 packs when you pre-order so i did that and then i got a couple extra packs uh, that I purchased, and then also they were giving out a lot of free packs. So I opened up a little bit more than 100 packs. I want to say maybe 120 total packs. And I think I only got six legendaries, um, but overall that works. When I opened up the, in one portion of the pack opening, I only got like one legendary for 40 packs. But then when I opened up the other 80 packs, I got like five legendaries. So when you're saying six out of 120, it's basically every 20 packs. And that's the average that they say. Um, I was hoping to get like a really cool pack where I get like two or three legendaries in one pack. I've never had that happen. I've never had more than one legendary. And I think I only have one golden legendary. So my luck with Hearthstone pack openings hasn't been that amazing. It's been literally just average um, so it's kind of tough for me to catch up which has also made it kind of tough for me to make my collection but we can go through it right here so first let's see what legendaries i have um, in the new expansion so obviously if you were to play the first solo adventure uh, the first week you get a free legendary and i think one of them was like a free death knight so this is the one that i got actually was the druid death knight which i haven't used yet druid is one of the best classes right now but unfortunately i don't have a lot of their other strong cards even the rare and epic ones i'm missing so it would just be too expensive for me to dust and a lot of those really good druid and druid and priest decks in the meta right now are, are super expensive so i'm having a hard time competing with those um so let's move on as you can see i only have basically 1600 dust now so i'm almost ready to craft another legendary but i want to wait because um i don't own the lich king i don't have the death knight and all these cards are really good let me pull them up um, I think everybody's aware of what the Lich King is at this point. Pretty much a must craft for most people, but for me right now, um, it's not. I, I have a Golden Ysera, and it's not the same, but um, it gives me kind of the card draw at the end of my turn that I like, and I just don't know if this is necessary because of how popular the Black Knight is becoming. These two are slowly becoming like the two uh, must have legendaries right now because this basically counters um, the Lich King and a lot of cards right now in like the taunt meta. Um, so these two are like the two most like must created cards right now, or I would say popular, just from what I've been reading online um, in Hearthstone. So if we go back to the legendary search, uh, we could turn crafting off. Actually, the only two legendaries I've ever disenchanted was Milhas Mana Storm and like Low Walker Cho, whatever. And I almost kind of feel like I shouldn't have. I I like rarely disenchant cards, which is probably why I don't have so many. Um, but it just feels weird to me when you like lose a legendary. But those cards really do suck. So, um, Knuckles is one of the legendaries I have. Oh, most of the legendaries I, I I've gotten are like unusable. In theory, this is, sounds like a cool card because you're doing three damage to the hero and to the enemy. I mean, if you attack a minion, it does three damage to the minion and the hero at the same time. And I've actually put this in my decks, my beast decks. Um, but you just really don't see this getting played a lot. And since I don't always care about net decking to the full extent, I use it. And it's actually help me win some matches especially if you what's a crazy combo is if you add attack to this or you like uh buff it then you're doing like say five damage to a minion and five damage to the hero in one turn um, then people usually quit but it's hard to get that especially when it's a five drop um then i have luckily i have a decent amount of well i have frost lich jaina which is awesome that i got this in um the new expansion and antonitis which is like a must have i got this paladin deck when I was doing my um, opening, I'm sorry, Paladin card, Bulvair, Fireblood, when I was doing the Lich King expansion. Um, to me, this card, I, I don't love it. Starting off at 1-7, I think is really crazy. And it's after a friendly minion loses Divine Shield, not even like how many minions have Divine Shield. Um, it'd be better to me if like for every minion and every minion that you summon with Divine Shield, you get plus two attack. Um, 
but I don't know. I don't have a lot of Paladin cards, and I, I rarely play Paladin, so it's kind of a waste for me. I wish I could almost like trade this card with somebody else. Uh, then, oh, this is the quest for Priest, which I don't even have a lot of good Death Rattle cards, so I've barely been able to use. I got the Rogue um, quest like when Rogue was getting nerfed, so this was basically pointless. Um, I actually played it recently in the Lich King, and I did win a couple games, but overall it's just not enough to, to play car uh, these decks, these really strong decks right now. Especially the um, Priest Death Knight counters it, because when he plays it kills all minions with five attack or, or more, so you totally get screwed, and right now Priest and Druid are the most played. Then you can see Warlock is definitely like one of my strongest classes. Um, I've had the first two from previous expansions, and then with this expansion, I got Blood Queen, and then I, I crafted Blood Reaver Gul'dan only because I just have so many Warlock cards, and it's one of my favorite classes to play. This isn't the strongest Death Knight, and I probably shouldn't have done this, uh, but then when I was looking up like what top tier decks I was closest to playing, it was a lot of them were Warlock and Mage, so this is the card that I needed to finish. So actually, I guess I, I think it was a smart move because at a certain point, if you want to play competitively and, and climb the ladder, you have to get to one of these top net decks. Uh, at least you have to have one or two of them. So I got close, a lot closer with Blood, Blood Reaver Gul'dan. Um, so that's cool. Okay, next we have the Warrior class. So in here, I actually have four Legendaries, two which I got in previous expansions, and then I got the... Warrior, Death Knight, and then Rotface. Rotface was an embarrassing pull out of one of the packs. I got this as one of my last legendaries, and this was when I got one legendary for 40 packs. So I was super bummed out because this minion seems like it's pretty much a joke. I mean, it's got a cool, um, unique thing here. Whenever this minion survives damage, summon a random legendary minion. And obviously the Warrior class is kind of built around either going taunt or dealing like one damage if you see the other minions or the hero power to the death knight is deal one damage to all minions so if you played this correctly you could spawn a lot of, of a lot of legendary minions but this is completely random and it's an eight cost so to play this card you would just need at least eight mana and then the, the zero card that deals one damage to your hero or whatever or you'd have to have nine mana or ten mana and then even at that point you only have a four six and it's random legendary minion on top of that so it's just not that great then you have a malkarok or whatever um this however pronounce the champion's name and equip a random weapon again you're only getting six five and then the random weapon is random and a lot of times i don't get a good weapon out of this so even though i have the most legendaries with the warlock class two of them are kind of unusable Gromish Hellscream is an awesome one, so that's great to have. And this Death Knight hero seems like it's a little bit, um, hasn't really found its place yet. So uh, that's unfortunate that I have the most legendaries in Warlock and Warrior. <laughs> and I don't really enjoy playing Warrior. Sometimes I like playing Pirate Warrior, but that's about it. Um, and then here are all the neutral legendaries. I'm not going to go through all the old ones that I have. You could just see um, what I've gotten in the past. There's my only golden legendary, Ysera. And I guess that's it. I don't think I got any major neutral legendaries during the um, Frozen Throne. I'm trying to think. There's, I, I, I find that surprising that I don't have any neutral legendaries. Oh, but I did get, uh, yeah, uh, Azrook, or however you pronounce that. But this one, again, isn't that great because you need to play elementals. And I did get it to um, 5 attack and 30 health. You gain 5 health for each elemental that you played. But this could easily be silenced, and sometimes it, it does get silenced. And if you don't play an ele elemental last turn, this card has, like, terrible, terrible value. So I got that, and I think I got one more, actually. I think I got Hogger. Is that possible? I forget the other one that I got, but I think that was it because everything else I've had and I've had Yashar's and all of these cards. So that is it for the legendaries. I don't have many good epics either, which a lot of these decks right now take a lot of epic cards. And if anything, those are equally as hard to get as legendaries. You don't get very many of them. They cost a lot to craft and there's a lot of times you need, you need both of them. You need two in your deck. So that can be just as expensive really to finish a deck, which makes it really tough. So because of that, what I've basically been playing is, well, this is the demon quest deck. Um, this isn't really viable right now. So I pretty much stopped playing that and I've been playing the death knight kind of handlock, which you've probably seen online. It's like a super popular deck right now in the meta. 
this is kind of my own variation of this because I don't have Lich King and some other cards, but basically it's just like normal um, Warlock, Handlock, and then you put in Lich King, which I don't have, so I replaced that with the Sarah, some Mountain Giants. Um, I only put in one Twilight Drake. And what's nice is this card right here, Defile, is really nice against a lot of aggro cards. And this actually plays really well with Despicable Dreadlord. When I first saw this card, I thought like, man, I, I don't really get the point of this card. But when you have two of these up, or after you've played two, and then you play uh, Blood Reaver Galdan, and it puts all the friendly minions back on the board, the friendly demons, the next turn, after you hit end turn, you're dealing two damage to all minions. So this is basically like a mini Hellfire automatically, which is sweet. And then everything else here is basically just to keep you to the end game until you can play um, Alex Straza or um, the Mountain Giants and, and, and go face and win. So that's this deck. This deck got me to um, rank 10, which was nice. And then there's the Elemental, which also got me to rank 10, but then, well, rank 11, but then I kind of ranked backwards um, when the frozen king just dropped i mean frozen throne so like this was first two days this deck was doing really well until the really good priests and the really good druid decks came out and this is just elemental mage with frost lich jaina i don't have all of the other cards necessary if you want to make this deck like top tier you need like uh, nazoth and um lich king and then maybe like one or two other cards, some other legendaries, then this card has some, this deck has some serious staying power. Basically, you just survive the early game, you have a lot of spells, you have a lot of like, I put in the freeze, this blaze caller is just so much value, and since there's so many elementals, you basically always get to um, get these bonuses. So you deal five damage. I mean, this card is amazing. For seven mana, you're dealing five damage and getting a six six. It's like perfect. Um, so then once you survive the early game and get Frosty Jaina, there's so much playability, so much heal off the hero power, but it's just a little slow and it doesn't have enough firepower to beat out like a 20 minute game with a priest. And then sometimes if the Jade Druid gets too far, there's just not enough firepower to take out those like 10 10 minions. You can do a lot, but eventually you kind of get swarmed. So that's why you either need um, Antonitis in here, or you need to change this deck and basically just play Freeze Mage with um, the uh, sec like Secret Freeze Mage with Antonitis, Sorceress, whatever, and then just do the quest and then do two turns and then OTK. Um, that's basically the best bet. So right now, that's what I've been doing. I revamped Pirate Warrior to beat some of these really long classes like Druid and uh, Priest. But it really depends on the luck of the draw when you're playing Pirate Warrior. And even though you can beat Priest in Druid, a lot of times when you run into Paladin and Warlock and other decks, they end up having so much clear that they beat you. And then if you get a bad hand, you lose the Priest, so it's just not worth it. It's fun to beat the Priest to say that you did it, um, but I just don't see how this is viable. I mean, I even teched it with like Spellbreaker and some things to get through. And for fun, I even put in the Warrior Hero death knight hero because you know a lot of times if the game's going longer this actually has won some games i think this would be like counterintuitive to most pirate warrior decks they'd probably want like leroy jenkins in here but putting this in you get a weapon that does four three and it does four damage to adjacent minions so you can clear the board and then go face with the rest so that's helped me um but it, there's just not enough here um to take out like priest and druid there's just not enough clear and then once you have to start cleaning clearing out minions you basically lose this pirate or you can really only go face so that's where i come to what i'm going to do next i need to try to craft another card like i said i'm 40 mana 40 dust away to crafting another legendary to make a deck i'm either going to craft the quest mage so then i can do some of that those freeze mage otk decks or maybe try to ramp up for another different kind of deck i don't know maybe get ready to try to play druid because i do have the druid legendary um but like i said i just don't have a lot of those other cards and i don't have the 10 mana card infestation which is like huge i'm just missing so many so many um good druid cards let's see like i need ultimate infestation i feel like uh i don't think that's necessary um Wisp of the Old Gods. So I guess I'm getting pretty close. I could probably make a decent Druid deck at this point. I just need to craft Infestation, which... And I think a lot of people only run one of these, because two is a lot. So that would only cost me 400. I guess I could do that, but then I don't have all the other legendaries to kind of back it up. But anyways, so I'll decide if you guys have any opinions, leave it down in the comments below. 
And let me know what you guys think of the new Hearthstone expansion. Thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5, and peace out. Oh, shit. Here we go. Wow. Whenever this minion survives damage, summon a random legendary minion. So that's actually... <laughs> Bruh.